one thing struck me that you constantly said do not break your head do not waste your time in doing any more research just follow the steps the way i have given it to you and mm-hmm. follow it in that order i'll what use a combination of two power okay. power words or power sentences one is just follow the process blindly and two is nike's tagline just do it uh, so i'm a self motivated and a self driven person and uh, because of what i was experiencing uh, i realized that the drive the internal drive or motivation was going down for me i started mm. to accept that uh, maybe there was something uh, in me that i was not good enough I almost led myself to believe that I'll never get a chance to get back to work. So this was the first time that I actually kind of got stuck in the entire scheme of events. Uh, I took a short break; it didn't intend intended to be too long, and I got uh, caught in the entire pandemic situation. And up till that point in time, I never realized that uh, I would not be in a position to land myself a job. I generally do not form immediate impressions of anybody, and uh, you know, this was this entire space of this when when the when the pandemic happened. and everything was e world like yeah, the webinars and everything there were a lot of people who came in the space selling uh, these kind of programs but something about you caught my attention honestly speaking i did not just find a business mindset obviously you're not in here for the free service you definitely have your goals too but there was something in you that said that no this is not just avril's goal to get a job but this is harsh's role to make sure that avril gets a job and that is something that uh, connected my heart during the webinar and the other part of it that connected me is the fact that you are very structured and i mm. come from a space of structure so mm. i follow the process to the t the worksheets were very detailed very helpful and while i was doing it i was not doing it for the sake of being a champion job finisher i was learning along the way anything that i take up i complete it so i made yes. your goal my yes. goal and so <laughs> even though i almost thought i missed the finish line but i sat the ex- i made yes. I the extra mile and i made sure that i i submitted my uh, my assignments within the deadline and <laughs> i was one of the um, uh, champion in job of finishers so weekly sessions are on wednesdays very informative the power play was very very moving and very motivational so whenever i used to have those thoughts of me not being good enough i would be there in your session and then i would like no 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 i am really good enough i have all the skills and resources in me i can make it happen every video of yours is so detailed i mean i am amazed at the kind of effort you put in because it's not just a very generic yeah there are generic videos which cover generic processes but you have videos for every situation for every area of difficulty and that's what makes it very personal so it's not like ah there's a generic video that's made i'll just look at it listen to it and i'll get my answers no if there's a particular issue that i'm facing with i can go to that video get yes. an insight i can also go to the other videos and see if i face a situation how do i handle myself thank you harshad thank you for the opportunity for the platform and for this amazing community and for the wonderful work that you're doing in building the community and i wish you also all the best in all the milestones that you have uh, undertaken and a commitment to partner with you in 2024 for whatever value i can add to the program yes. i'm really motivated and inspired by you to give back to the community hey hello everyone welcome to yet another champion achievers interview and today we have very senior hr person avril on this hot seat this hot seat is where we celebrate success of our champions they were having some small hiccup in their career but they took full responsibility implemented the entire game plan and achieved fabulous results so here we are celebrating avril success so just join me celebrating avril success and of course watching this video you, you will learn a lot about her her journey and i'm sure there will be so many takeaways you can take in your career forward so first of all i would like to welcome avril on this hot seat i'm sure you were you were aiming for coming on this hot seat and here we are thank you thank you harshad yes i remember your goal of uh, 2023 of having maximum uh, champion achievers yes. coming on your hot seat so i made that my goal uh, in fact it was a dual goal so one was it for you to win and one was it for me to win so you absolutely. getting your numbers achieved and me getting my dream job absolutely so it was a win win for everyone i will could you just introduce uh, yourself to uh, let the audience know uh, who you are and what you have been doing so far in your career sure so hi i am avril bonadin disa saldana born and brought up in mumbai so out of my 22 years of uh, hr experience i spent about 16 years 16 and a half years in hr in mumbai and then moved to uh, chennai after my marriage worked in diverse industries most most of them uh, primarily in pharma uh, got the opportunity of being in stock broking 
consulting, auto, manufacturing. And now I'm in a different uh, or brand new industry again. So uh, as an individual, I love to challenge myself. So I started uh, right from the ground, uh, rolling up my sleeves. So started with talent acquisition, moved up the ladder, then played all, almost all the um, HR roles apart from learning and development. Uh, and my last assignment was with uh, EY consulting with them on different programs. So uh, I have a mix of both worlds now, business and consulting. But my heart always lies with business. So that's why I went back to business. And now what company uh, are you joining? And I'm sure you achieved a great feat. So tell us more about that. Sure, sure. So I'm joining uh, Numeric UPS, which is a group brand of Legron. I'm joining them as an entity HR head, working very closely with the business and helping them achieve their KPIs and their milestones. Uh, I'll be also supporting the group at uh, HR head for any other group related in HR initiatives. So it's going to be a very ch interesting and a challenging role, uh, primarily because uh, this is the first time in my career that I will be taking charge of the HR function independently. Uh, and that will help me achieve uh, the personal milestones that I set for myself. I'm a risk taker. I love challenges. And uh, I'd like to work, uh, uh, and I, I recently got certified as a NLP practitioner come coach. Mm. So this uh, will help me bring that uh, skill set to the organization. And I am looking forward to convert a lot uh, of the mid-level uh, 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 executives to uh, take on senior positions and lead the organization to greater success. Yes, yes. Amazing, amazing. And uh... What was the challenge you were facing when you joined Career Champions Club? Why did you join and why you couldn't do it yourself? You know, what was the challenge you were facing? Um, so this was the first time that I actually took a, uh, I kind of got stuck in the entire scheme of uh, events. Uh, I took a short break, didn't intend, intend it to be too long. And I got uh, caught in the entire pandemic situation. Mm. And up till that point in time, I never realized that uh, I would not be in a position to land myself a job. And the pandemic made it really very real. I know uh, it was tough on organizations. And, uh, um, you know, at the leadership level, you have very few roles that are available. Uh, and when you are in a pandemic kind of a situation, you will have very few positions that are available because everyone's holding on to uh, to the position that they are in. Mm. And uh, yeah, so that was one of the biggest challenge that I faced. Um, and um, over the time, I realized that, um, uh, so I'm a self-motivated and a self-driven person. And uh, because of what I was experiencing, uh, I realized that the drive, the internal drive or motivation was going down for me. I mm. started to accept that uh, maybe there was something uh, in me that I was not good enough. And uh, that kind of became a roadblock. So um, I almost led myself to believe that I'll never get a chance to get back to work. And uh, uh, But somehow, uh, as I'm a risk taker and I, I'm, I have this never give up attitude. So in one of the webinars, I chanced upon meeting uh, a person, a partner from EY. And I said, why not explore this? So that, you know, I get the exposure, I get the, I get the uh, revenue and I get an opportunity to continue my job search. Yes. yes. But again, you know what happened? Uh, somewhere deep down in my heart, I, I somehow started believing in that maybe I'm not good enough. Mm. And that was a time when my husband got an opportunity. I don't know whether it was through Facebook or LinkedIn that he got your short um, uh, uh -huh, messaging okay. video. Mm. And then he said, why not uh, Why not go for the webinar and experience Harsha? Then maybe there'll be something transformative here, something which you in your 20 plus years of uh, your HR career would not have had the chance to. And that's when I attended your masterclass and I got the breakthrough that I wanted to. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Good that you at least joined uh, EY to you know explore. Uh, that was a great decision probably, right? To continue exactly. working with uh, corporates at least in some, some way. Correct. I think, uh, Amazing. And then uh, during the job search journey, tell us about your finisher story, Jobathon finisher <laughs> story. You were always active, always video on in our sessions, uh, fast learner and fast implementer. Tell us about that. Sure. So um, I generally do not uh, form immediate impressions of anybody. And, uh, you know, this was this entire space of this when, when, the, when the pandemic happened and everything was e-world like yeah, the webinars and everything there were a lot of people who came in the space selling uh these kind of programs but something about you uh 
caught my attention honestly speaking i did not just find a business mindset obviously you're not in here for the free service you definitely have your goals too but there was something in you that said that no this is not just avril's goal to get a job but this is harsh's role to make sure that avril gets a job and that is something that uh, connected uh, my heart during the webinar and the other part of it that connected me is the fact that you are very structured and i mm. come from a space of structure so over a period of time i have <clears throat> moved uh, of being someone who is very dynamic not just structured but because you came from a space of structure and one thing struck me that you constantly said do not break your head do not waste your time in um uh, doing any more research just follow the steps the way i have given it to you and mm -hmm. follow it in that order it's mm -hmm. not like oh today i i like an offer i'll do that part no then i'll go back to interviewing no and you and you also said that in the event you get a job call in between the process then pause what you're doing go to that stage uh, prepare for it crack your job interview but come back and finish it even though you've you've got your job opportunity because you don't know when it will help you it can help you in a career change it can help you to get a better job opportunity also and that's exactly what i followed mm -hmm. so i followed the process to the t the 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 worksheets were very detailed very helpful and while i was doing it i was not doing it for the sake of being a champion job finisher i was learning along the way so mm -hmm. there were a lot of introspection points okay why am i this way why am i thinking this way the manifestations the affirmations uh the uh, the weekly sessions that we used to have i couldn't attend the sunday sessions because sunday is a very busy day personally uh but uh, uh at least a weekly sessions on wednesdays very informative the power play was very very moving and very motivational so whenever i used to have those thoughts of me not being good enough mm -hmm. uh i would be there in your session and then i would like no 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 i am really good enough i have all the skills and resources in me i can make it happen so that is what helped me in the entire process and as i told you that i am a person who loves to take challenges and risks and anything that i take up i complete it mm. so i made yes. your goal my yes. goal and so <laughs> even though I, i i almost thought i missed the finish line but i sat the i made yes. like, the extra mile and i made sure that i i submitted my uh, my assignments within the deadline and <laughs> i was one of the um, uh, champion job finishers yes like a school children school <laughs> yes. child you know like tomorrow is exam no i have i need to finish this today i <laughs> we experienced that amazing amazing i uh, how did it work let's say this this uh, numeric opportunity or how many opportunity did you get which job strategies worked for you for your uh, hr specialization and at the senior level what worked what didn't work in your case yes so um i did not get that many opportunities before joining your program but after i joined your program i saw a lot of opportunities and one thing that worked well for me uh, is i um uh branded my cv differently okay so i used the power words mm. i uh, i i got a good feeling even after doing it i was like mm -hmm. you know i am a person in position and power now yes. and uh, yes i didn't have closure in terms of responses but at least i had the comfort that a lot more opportunities were coming to me and i was able to answer and i was able to submit my uh, cv to them uh, numeric opportunity happened uh, purely by chance i um, was very busy with the project that i was with ey and i happened to have a head head hunter reach out to me and uh, um, a lot of things fell in place honestly to say uh, not just the role it was exactly the kind of role that i was looking forward to uh, it was exactly the location that i was looking at because mm, it's very close course. to home and uh, it was also a new industry and uh, having worked in the pharma industry for a very long time i realized that uh, as an hr professional you have to be diverse in your uh, in your exposure in your expertise yes uh, otherwise yes. you can get uh, typecast as being someone who's only a pharma specialist so okay. uh, this gave me an opportunity to explore a new industry and the learning mindset and the a uh, challenging mindset in me wanted to explore something different uh i knew this opportunity will also uh, help me uh, be in touch with the people on the ground that means i will have to travel and that's something that i enjoy doing uh so in a way it was like i can see a package deal so mm. uh, it all happened all within i think a matter of 3 3 and a half weeks i think it's okay. the shortest turnaround time yes <laughs> ever in at, at this level at a leadership yes, level yes yes and uh, you know having the interactions with the group hr head having the interactions with the ceo 
then having a joint discussion uh the when i went so the the initial in discussions were on webinar i mean on on a video call and when i actually uh, went for the final round it was in the office and to be uh, truthful to myself when i stepped out of the lift and entered that office i knew i had the job in my hand this was my place this was my territory mm. and this is what uh, this is going to take me uh, uh, a long way and so along uh, that interview you, have... you also could judge them i mean you could also could Correct. sense what you will get or whether you will like it i think that's the best Correct. interview right where both of Correct. the parties choose each other or yes. select each other and exactly what i what were the manifestations or affirmations i would say every day in the morning that i have it in me i can make it happen this is mine so yes. that really yes. worked yes. and that kind of changed and shifted my mindset too amazing oh. amazing great story and uh, as you said like uh, you tried for many months but when it happened it happened over 3 weeks you know yes i'm sure i always uh, yeah i always have this belief that you know you keep praying for the right opportunity and one day you are in a state of giving up and that's when miracles happen and then you you believe that yes miracles do exist do and, exist you know? yes <laughs> but of course you know your efforts before that actually helped Correct. during that time right but the timing is not in our hand correct but you know many things should happen before that to even grab that opportunity sometimes i think if you hadn't had your uh, resume ready probably that yes. opportunity wouldn't have been yours right i think your yes. preparation also was required but of course there were there are many other factors which are not in our hand amazing and also yeah, yeah and yes. also the uh, uh, now you have come up with a brand new lms i've not yet had the chance to see it but i had completed all the modules in the previous yes. one Uh, every video of yours is so detailed i mean i am mm. amazed at the kind of effort you have put in because it's not just a very generic yeah there are generic videos which cover generic processes but you have videos for every situation for every um uh, area of difficulty and that's what makes it very personal so it's yes. not like ah there's a generic video that's made i'll just look at it listen to it and i'll get my answers no if there's a particular issue that i'm facing with i can go to that video get yes. an insight But I can also go to the other videos and see if I face a situation, how do I handle myself? Yes, you know. So that is something which is uh, very beautiful, and I actually went through all the videos, whether they were relevant to me or not. And uh, you, you give us an opportunity to to give our comments after every video. So you know, you are getting continuous feedback. You are improving. Yes. And uh, every Wednesday or every uh, jobathon, you do something different and new. So that's yes, also yes. very important because sometimes when you are stuck in the rigor. Uh, you can tend to get bored because you know it's not that okay this happened to me purely it's a miracle but there could be a situation where i'll be doing two three jobathons and yes. maybe in my fourth jobathon i might get something but yes. i need to be also uh, uh challenged to do different things so, yes. so each jobathon is different hmm. and that's something which is beautiful yes yes thank you thank you for that uh every really if uh, people who are watching this uh, who are community members or other job seekers if one mantra if you can tell them uh, do this or don't do this like one mantra uh, from your experience so i'll, I'll use a combination of two two power okay. power words or power sentences one is just follow the process blindly and two is nike tagline just do it <laughs> just keep at it keep at it it will happen just yes. keep at it just keep at it believe the process trust in the process attend if you are not able to attend the sunday sessions for whatever reason because they are more practice sessions they are very good sessions so it is an advantage but if for whatever reasons you cannot attend the sunday sessions but do not miss the wednesday sessions especially yes. the starting uh, 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 you know where uh, you get different insights uh, you get harshad sharing whatever he has gone through in that period of time uh, his coaching insights uh, it's not just only about the job you, you know i remember you sharing something about money about finances yes yes, yes. about uh, personal beliefs about uh, uh, you know Um, um uh what you say not never giving up attitude uh yes. you know uh, so you know those things motivate and then obviously you then talk about what you have planned for the for that session for the yes. which is a milestone in the jobathon and um uh, another thing is that uh, whatever you commit uh be true to yourself it's not harshad's goal only it's your journey too yes so if you have committed to complete the jobathon come what may do it you know so that will may it'll give you the satisfaction and happiness and not only that you will get to learn a lot and uh, uh, i always believe that when you put the effort the universe conspires and make sure that you get rewarded for the effort that you put in yes so yes yes, yes that's yes. something uh, that that's a powerful takeaway
I think your uh, your force was so much, Avril, that as you said, universe has had to conspire to give you that offer. You know, at least you put the you put the force first. Amazing. Correct. Thank you so much. I mean, it was such inspiring uh, story. Not just right now, but of course all, during all our sessions, we ended up meeting face to face also in Chennai. So yes. <laughs> at some point, <laughs> was just yes. uh, a great thing. So thank you so much for sharing your story openly. definitely inspire so many people and uh, of course our journey doesn't end here we will uh, we are community members for life so best Thank wishes you. for your best role so far uh, and uh, i'm sure you are a risk taker and challenge uh, taker so i'm sure you will find new challenges and new horizons uh, along thank the future thank you thank you thank you harshad thank you for the opportunity for the platform and for this amazing community and for the wonderful work that you're doing in building the community and i wish you also all the best in all the milestones that you have uh, undertaken and uh, a commitment to to partner with you in 2024 for whatever value i can add to the program yes. i yes. think i'll be a little more in terms of time i'll be a little more Uh, no but i'll bring you back i'll bring you back <laughs> the last will... quarter was very challenging so i, yes. I will have that time and, and space in 2024 and uh, i'm really motivated and challenged uh, i'm sorry motivated and inspired by you uh, to give back to the community so i'll partner you. with Thank you that's you. my no, commitment i'm sure i'm sure i'll i'm going to count on many people like you i mean you especially and need your help as well absolutely thank you abil thank Abel. you so much harshad thank you